Good morning, everybody from the shop. We've got some organizing to do in here yet, don't we? Like usual. But right now my project is getting these summer tires put on the terrain. We still have our winter tires on there. They're not studded, so, I mean, you can run those winter tires all year, but they're very soft and they'll wear down very quickly. That's just a waste. You don't want them on there in the, in the hot months. So uh, I've been pretty busy up until now. I haven't had a chance to do it. We're gonna get that done. And then I'm gonna run over to McMahon Yates here in town, which is sort of like uh, it's a hardware store. I'm gonna grab all the parts necessary and tools that I need to install that dishwasher in our kitchen. I'm gonna go home, gonna get that dishwasher installed, hopefully today, if not, we'll finish it up tomorrow. And we've got these countertops here. We're gonna redo our countertops in the kitchen. But until I can get that done, that's gonna be a bit of a bigger project. Uh, I'm not sure when I was sort of signed up for that project, but uh, I'll get her done. The wife wants new countertops, the wife gets new countertops. I'll figure it out. But that's coming later. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hook up the dishwasher, all the plumbing and everything. It's pretty easy, hot water line from the sink, split it, bring it over to the dishwasher, drain line from the dishwasher to the drain in the sink, install a little Y angle uh, drain in there and uh, make sure it's all routed properly and then connect the electricity and then I'm going to secure the dishwasher to the floor in place. It'll also be secured to these countertops once these countertops are in place. But for now, I'm just going to secure it. It has the option for that and secure it right down to the floor so it'll stay in place so we can at least use it uh, in the meantime while we're waiting for these countertops to be put in by this expert counter installer. We'll call him, uh, we'll call him Josh. He also drives a truck. He's gonna figure out how to do countertops. I can do it, I can do it, hey. I'll, I'll figure, I'll watch some videos online. I got a lot of family, I got uncles that do finished carpentry for a living. Uh, I wanna do it myself, but if I need help, I have lots of people who know exactly what they're doing who can guide me. I'll figure it out. Okay, let's get these tires put on. And let's get this day going. I won't need the stroller for this, but I will need the space in the back of the train. So I'll just leave this here for now. Chevy, we forgot it was your daycare day. Oh no, I had to run home, grab him, bring him in for a half day. He was scheduled to be here for a full day today. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chevy, that's our fault. I wanted to go play with my friends. They're all waiting for me. I know, I know. So I'm out there dealing with getting those tires changed on the terrain, which we got done. So that's done. And then uh, Britt calls me <laughs> and she's like, so what day is it today? Well, it's Friday, why? Chevy wants to know, <laughs> is he still going to daycare? He had a friend here waiting for him specifically. They got here and they were so sad and when Chevy didn't show up. Oh, he's making friends, okay. His mom and dad just got baby brain. We can't remember anything. Shoot. Yeah, so he, he's just going in for a half day today. It's a, it's a different fee, obviously, so. Uh, we buy a package deal here. And then uh, whenever we can, we bring him here for a full day. He doesn't go every day. He doesn't need to go every day. Uh, it's not that we don't want him at home, we do, but we want him to get socialized and get his energy out. He's a big guy, Chevy's a big dog. I don't know if the camera does him justice. You saw him sitting here in the seat beside me, right? He's like a wolf, he's a big boy. So he needs to get out there and, and run. And with everything going on, we're busy people. We don't always have time to run them at home, right? And that's not fair. So uh, we know the people here and uh, it's a great place. Great place, we take him here. So he only goes there, well, we'd like to bring him there like once a week, but it's whenever I'm at home during the week and it works with our schedule, he goes there. So speaking of the dogs, I'm here. Pet value. I need to pick up some food for Diesel. Since he's had his procedure, uh, his teeth cleaning, he hasn't regained his appetite really yet. I think it's because he's got a sore mouth. He doesn't want to chew the food. So we soften his food, obviously, with water. That's to soften it up a little bit. And we always do that because they're all old and they all, and we, we make it easier for them, right? But uh, he hasn't wanted to eat at all. We haven't been able to get him to eat anything other than treats. Oh, he'll gobble down the treats. So you know he's hungry. You know he's willing to eat. 
He just doesn't want to eat his food because he's a princess. So that's what we're dealing with right now. So the only way we could get him to eat this morning was to mix in a little bit of wet food with his regular food. He really likes that. We had to mix it in there real good. And then he ate everything because we have to get him to eat because he has to take antibiotics every day because of his procedure and painkillers. And he has to take that with food. You can't just put that in, like shove it down his throat or whatever. And you can't shove it, put it in his stomach on an empty stomach. So we have to get him to eat. So this is the only thing we've been able to think of. And it, it usually works. So it's this is a very diesel thing to do. It's, it's He's just stubborn. Like I said, he's a little princess. He doesn't want his food. He's too good for his food. No, no, I want the fancy. I want the soft food. Yes, I want the first class food. Yes, what the fancy dogs eat. I want, I want that. So we have to sort of put him in his place sometimes and be like, no, this ain't a restaurant. You eat what's in front of you. So we'll get him there and we'll get him. And he, he does this every now and then. Whenever usually like something changes for some reason, like if we move something around the house or, uh, you know, when he used to come in the truck with me on a trip, when I brought him home, he'd do the same thing. He's like, oh, why is there so many changes? He gets all stressed out. And then he's like, I will only eat the best of the best. I am stressed. He's a, he's an interesting dog, but we love him. We love him so much. So I got to go pick up a little bit more wet food now just so that we can keep mixing it in and wean him off of that onto his regular food again. It is what it is. It is what it is. We'll take care of it. We'll handle it. We got a lot on our plate. We don't have time to just mess around with them all the time. A lot going on. I've actually got a load uh, that's going east from here. Not too far east. A little into Ontario. I got to pick that up tomorrow. Uh, it's already waiting at our yard. Got to Hook onto it, it's a load of PVC pipe, I believe. Tie it down. We're taking it uh, close to Nipigon. And I gotta reload after that. But I gotta get going tomorrow afternoon. So I have to get everything done today. I still have to wash the floors in the old shop and hand in the keys. I have to hook up the dishwasher and I have to run all these errands. And I wanted to organize my new shop yet, but I guess that's not gonna happen until next time I'm home. There's always so much to do. The list, it doesn't get shorter, it only gets longer. How is that even possible? You get like five things done. Okay, say there's like 10 things on your list of things to do. You're like, 10 things. You get five of them done. You're like, yeah, you check off five of them and you look at the list again and there's 15 things to do. You're like, I thought I did five. How did I add five? People are watching me talk to myself. I'm getting all excited here. Let's go inside. I don't care. You can watch me talk, but I'm not. What? We got old blue back in the shop. It's been a busy, busy day, and I didn't get as much done again as I wanted to. We gotta leave on a trip tomorrow. So I gotta run home and see if I can install a dishwasher yet. We'll see you tomorrow, old blue. Me and you gotta go to work. Teacher Josh wrapping up the vlog again. Making a habit of this, aren't I? <laughs> Forgetting to vlog or end the vlog at home because the day never really ends at home. It just keeps going and going and going. We have a baby now, so the days, I don't know where it starts and where it ends. It's, so I've been forgetting to wrap up the vlog, so I do it now. So uh, we got the summer tires and winter tires changed on the terrain. That's good. I went out and got all the parts to install the dishwasher. Didn't have time to install that. Uh, I had to finish up the rest of the stuff moving over from the old shop to the new shop and wash, uh, mop the floor in the old shop there. Give it a good cleaning. Uh, what else did I do? Chevy. <laughs> Forgot to bring him, like I said, I don't know when the day ends and when it begins. Forgot to bring Chevy in the morning to his daycare. He was supposed to be there for the full day. So we brought him there uh, in the afternoon. So we did get his half day with his friends there. He had some friends that were there specifically just to see him. And they were so sad when he wasn't there in the morning. So we got him there to see his friends. He had fun. And uh, I got everything I need now to install that dishwasher. And uh, I know how to do it now. I'm confident in being able to do that. It's a pretty simple task. And uh, I'll get that done in the next few days or so. We'll, we'll see. Don't want to spoil any upcoming vlogs or anything. Thanks for joining me. Uh, this was a crazy day running around, getting stuff done. Tomorrow, we're back on the road. Gotta get back out there. So take care, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, 
and don't forget, subscribe and turn on notifications.